On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan, a blessed and wonderful Sunday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, now the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So, please like the video, share the video watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica so watch this now my peeps uh, to the name uh, Sunday the day when some of the ones and ones them out there traverse the church now please remember on the spot news media's loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers you definitely see how Jamaica run right and now so you know for sure so we need that now more than ever and of course we cannot forget the official red rice and roast a deer. Yeah, man. So to all of the ones and ones them out there in the kitchen a deal with the finger licking chicken, blessings on the Sunday. And to all of the regular members of Chan Public out there who is going about their lawful business from Moran Point to Negril Point, safe travel, pan the gravel, and continuously look out on the corner of Kazwa, the old dirty corner boy of them. Always out there. Alerts. So now the man in my peeps, I can give you know, a double jeopardy. Yeah man, two rather interesting stories compiled together in one vlog. So the most definitely I gonna need to stay tuned and watch till the end. Now the first thing that we are gonna talk about my peeps, as I stated in yesterday morning's vlog, that the story of the old Abba brazen knockings and clappings in the day there will not be the last that I'll be speaking of it. Now this morning, we definitely I got to bring it back to you again. Now Friday, a knockings and clappings go on sometime about 3 p.m. brawling in the Migla Ola Harbour town in close proximity to the police station where a knockings and clappings was seen hopping off the back of a bike and a pepper some can in a motor vehicle. He was challenged by an off-duty police officer who slapped him away and recovered a big fat matic here with extension clip. Yeah, man. The off-duty officer deal with the thing a certain type of way. Now, the occupants of the motor vehicle where the criminal element knock it and clap it pan was both injured. Now, two males was in that motor vehicle. The rider of the bike sped off when him say the officer slap with him crony. Now, the criminal element who is now deceased is a man from Mobile. A man who yelled from the 5150 gang. Yeah, man, you don't know, say, a Glen Devon badness that right away. But one may be wondering, so who are the two men them who get can up in the car well we can clearly identify one we can identify both but the other which is the driver is definitely not relevant to the story as he was just a honest hard-working jamaican man we do like a robot taxi with him white plate car when him now work him not even know say the man we him a carry a hot bread and not just officer yeah man pick and team alone want him but the whole of mobile 5150 want him like wow yeah man now the man with it sit down at the back of the car is none other than yours truly 1214 yeah man 1214 whose birth name is Dwayne Minto one of the most controversial persons that on the spot news media has ever brought to you. 
So for all of the new viewers and subscribers, them who have never watched a video of on the Spot News Media highlighting this criminal element here presently on your screen, known as Dwayne Minto, aka 1214 from Mobile St. James. On the need for you to type in 1214 on YouTube, 1214 and the Spot News Media have done many vlogs on this criminal element here. Dangerous piece of boy. Yeah, man. So, what really go on right now, you know? Twelly is out and bail for a knockings and clappings we go on in a mobile. That, of course, resulted in the loss of life of a man. So, one of his conditions of bail is that he's not supposed to be seen in the Montego Bay space. We all know what take place when time Twelly get bail. Him go back to our funeral. And three men end up lose them three pints. Three criminal elements anyway. And an innocent little ten year old girl end up get a stray can in a fair head. So we all know of that particular story. I covered that extensively. Now 1214 decides eh, he might go stay in the Kingston metropolitan region. It never worked out for him. So he decides eh, he might go trads over there. To St. Catherine, where he lived in a gated community for a minute. A scam and a go on with himself. Over a year ago that now. And officers from the St. Catherine South and them team up with officers from Special Ops. And them go raid the place. This is the video presently on your screen. And 1214 is also seen in this particular video being escorted out of the house with his girlfriend and other females into the police car. I don't know how Twelly get away from half of this charge. Because him out from bail and then them catch him a scam. So I don't know what goes or if I'm Guzzo man so good as him say or whatsoever the case may be but I'm still out from bail. Now Twelly a hot bread. Hot, hot bread. So I left Portmore. And decide say, he might go stay in the old harbor place there. Because you don't know old harbor have some whole heap of nice scheme. So he move in the new harbor village over phase four to be exact. Now, 12 days so I go and chill and build with his dearly beloved mother and his sister. And one of them girl them, of course. And Dede, I go and do fame thing. Still I go and scam. Not knowing that he's still been hunted by the powers that be that runs the 5150 gang so the man them send in two of them knackis and clappis become near 12 food and broke the plate and the man them trail him because him take the taxi figure use the atm machine and before him could have exit the car clam 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 12 food almost get near luckily for him an off-duty police officer was in close proximity to what was happening and slap away the man who come for come slap him away. But the irony of this is, you know, when 1214 get can up, 12 run, got in at the whole of a police station, got dropped down upon the step with some can stuff up in her belly. Yeah, man. It is just funny if you see how oh, a criminal element we hate police, run to police when can bite him in his kin and Mr. Death come touch him on his shoulder. But Twelly say, not today. Yeah, man, not today, Mr. Death. You have to go circle me another day. Yeah, man. But anyway, on to the next story. So we're going to revisit a knockings and clappings that took place over there in the Burger Gully community of Eastern Kingston. We are talking about the 17 lane knockings and clappings. Yeah, man. Now the knockings and clappings there took place sometime about 10 p.m. on Sunday, July 30. That claimed the life of a eight-year-old little boy we known as DJ Daz and a 34-year-old man known as Joel presently on your screen. Now I covered this vlog here a couple of times. 
different instances, different information. And now, we definitely have to revisit again. Because I made mention of a particular controversial figure in the second vlog that I did on this story. I made mention of a youth known as Kojo. Not even a youth. He's a old dirty kind of boy. Yeah, man. Kojo. Now, the last vlog I covered on this. His sister sent me a voice note. And page me wicked. Yeah, man. I said, I don't need no sympathy. But then again, was I even offering sympathy? Because as I stated clearly in all the vlogs I did, the only innocent person in all the way on a Siguan out there is the 80 year old. Because of his age, he's not really responsible for himself as yet. Everybody else who get caught up, mother of the 80 year old wear a ball, granny wear a ball, everybody mix up and know everything where I go on. Now, we are going to talk about the youth of them called Kojo. A family member attached to that criminal family. In fact, he is the brother of Joel. We end up losing three pints on the 30th of July. So we are going to talk about the controversial figure there. Kojo. Now, this is Kojo presently on your screen. So for those who know, for those who need to know, and for those who never know, now all I want to know. So this is Kojo presently on the screen. A real old knackis and clappis within his own right. In fact, in family lineage, he might come from a set of knackis and clappis too. Now, we could get into where it all started. Now, for the original Eastern Kingston people, them, who are supposed to remember this brother here presently on the screen, Devon Murray, a popular Dan from Burger Gully, we known as Pepsi. Now, everybody definitely know this brother here and what he stood for and everything we go on in the whole gangster world from back in a few days before he met his demise. Now, Pepsi was the Dan who did a run off the place. And them man a rule with an iron fist over the Burger Gully community. Now, Kojo was one of the youth them where Nena take no talk. And Pepsi did have to make him lift up out of the place. So when time Pepsi are on the ground, the family, yeah, they still are going to do them things, yes. But you don't know from Pepsi say leave. No matter how strong the family is, they have to leave because they're not stronger than the strong man, Pepsi. So I'm leg out of the place and go over Jarrett Lane. And there Jarrett Lane I go and do him thing. Get introduced to scamming and start to eat a food and make a big money. So after Pepsi drop out of the game, you know. Him start make a link, you know, with Talis. That are the same you that I did the vlog about the other day. So this is Talis presently on your screen, whose birth name is Kevin Smith. Boy, I may I tell you, nothing good no really associate with the name there as far as me see. I want salt piece of name. But anyway, this is Talis. So him start link with Talis and now. And I beg Talis for him come back into the place. Because when Pepsi run him away, Talis did them amongst Pepsi. And Talis and Pepsi soldier them fall out. So him did have to go down at the bottom part of Burger Gully. And I saw the top burger and bottom burger war start basically. And I saw the split they did in the place. But anyway, them did farm a little peace thing and a little truce did go on. And the youth of them called Talis tell him to come back into the place. So him and Talis I did actually friend. So I could continue. Talis, as I stated, make him come back in the place. And him start do some whole heap of things behind Talis back. Like the time 
when him go fire some can up a top burger off of the top man. And Talis did have to intervene right there so again. And kind of quash the war between top and bottom. Then him go strike again. Him send man go round at 11 lane. One early Sunday morning. Go slap with a youth with them call Andre. That's the brother of a youth to them call Juppie. No, because the man them decides to them now nah, inner way him inner. And that's the reason why he did all of that. No, Juppie decides to he not nah take that. And Juppie go slap with a youth known as Marvin. So after Juppie do that now, him send man go to Oliver Road now. Go circle Pepsi, brother. So Pepsi, as I stated earlier, you know, at the farm I done we lose film three pints and now we did run him way out of the place. So him send go slap way Adrian, Murray, and the bartender girl. I also covered that vlog some time ago. So Adrian Murray, which is Pepsi brother, end up lose film three pints because of the same youth with them call Kojo. Because he must say, oh, your brother did run me out of the place now. I we are on the place. Yeah, man. So, that go on now. Talis I talk to him about certain little things and I make him know, say, yo, we are going out in the place. Can't work because we are trying to maintain a certain order. I try to maintain a certain peace. And you just a deal with the thing a certain type of way. And I write this and now the jump off go on between him and Talis. So the Sunday I know, on the 30th of July, him send two men go up the road for go circle to all these ends and clap some can. So when time that go on I know, them feel say a peace and safety and them well strap up and depend for them ends. Because as I stated in one of the vlogs, you know, that Kojo they go do some scamming and come back in a place and buy base trap give the youth them because him family kind of big a certain type of way and them have whole heap of little juvenile around him too so him just arms up the man them so Talis goons them now decide say yo that can't work you come circle we alone their settings because Talis see himself as a better man than him by far because back in the days I did Talis did really a wall the ground from top burger man them so everybody get Talis a certain type of ratings as a real knackis and clappies. So Talis and Fim goons them go circle them in the 10 o'clock bells on the Sunday day, July 30. And a lone can to them skin. And I saw the little baby end up lose Fim three pints. And Joel. No, it could have been from any one of them. Because the little youth did in the yard. With criminal elements a fire back, Pantalis and Fim Cleek. So the baby could have get knock up and clap up from basically any one of the man them. So and unnecessarily it had to be Talis at a man them. It could have been their own because they were inside the yard behind the zinc fence and knock it and clap it back, Pantalis them. So my peeps. The thing sticky, the thing rough. And to you, little miss, we know you're still in there, we know who you are. But we know after you see that vlog, yeah, you go vex and you go run in my inbox and cuss me out again. We know suck your mother will be the order of the day. But we have a separate vlog for you, but me just wait until you decide for jumping at the inbox. Then of course, on the spot news media will most definitely put you on the spot and give you the much needed exposure that you so desire. So little miss or little bit as they may call you, we eagerly await your presence in our DMs. Yeah man. So anyway my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah man.